No way! Hey, ratbags, remember to like and subscribe to the video. Now get out of here! Hey guys, just want to let you guys know that this video has a little bit of awkward audio. It was from the same VOD, but by the next video, all should be fixed. So, uh, enjoy, yeah, rat bag. Wow, okay, I didn't know this. Irelia and Trundle are the like, two worst matchups. I didn't know, that. that's really interesting. I, I really don't think Trundle's that bad. I can understand Irelia, but I think I, I think I figured out Irelia now. I was surprised to see Trundle be struggled with. I, I've got quite a lot of like games where I do really good with Trundle. Like I feel like like at first I kind of struggled, but now I don't mind him. I might do like a Sunder. Not gonna lie, I might do a Sunder Eclipse, Profane Hydra. I feel like Profane Hydra would be also good if uh... trying to find the one mistake means death. Yeah, you're not wrong. Lenny is not the easiest. Available's wife still Yarik. I think wife still Yarik is really good to Aurelia. Well, at least Bork is good to Aurelia in my opinion. It feels good. But I think the problem with Wife Still Yarik is because everybody one shots each other so fast, it's hard to not get one shotted. So I I'll give a little bit of advice in this matchup. Well, like in this game, where like, so, so people my or oh, First Strike or Conqueror, right? Conqueror is really good this game because, like, look at this Bruisery Champion, Bruisery Champion, Bruisery Champion. Slog Dog is my daddy. And even Varus, right? He's likely to go tank items as well, and that's where Conqueror is, like, really good in. But if the enemy had, like, you know, a Quinn, a Rise, another Squishy Champion, that's when First Strike would be very good. So, what was it? Eclipse? Sun of Sky? Okay. Slog is my daddy. So this one legit. Ingenious Hunter. I saw some builds where you go um, Ingenious Hunter, Eclipse, Unending Despair, Spirit Visage, and it was like super spicy. I really want to try Stride Breaker in this matchup as well. I think Stride Breaker would be good into Maud. I can tell you guys something right now that Shojin is definitely very good in this matchup because having more ability is for your W. Perfect. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> he just walked up, missed the Q and walked away? Wait, that's kind of based. It's kind of based. Aww, oh, I don't have Q. If I had Q, I'd kick his ass, but... No. Sag. I don't think I missed any XP though, which is really good. Yeah, I didn't miss any XP. I have taste of blood as well, a bit of sustain of deep blade. This sucks, but it's not the worst. Yeah, yeah, I think Stride Breaker. I, I think Stride Breaker still sucks as an item, but it has huge potential in my opinion. I've been high, like I've been thinking about a lot um a movement speed setup where you go Stride Breaker and like a bruisery kind of team fight setup. And you just be like an annoying guy that goes in and out of fights. You kite and play around your E and W. I don't think it's doable yet because um because Stride Break is too shit of an item, but I think we're getting really close because they're buffing it hard next patch. The mist comes for it might be viable next patch. The damned resist their fate. He's gonna press his fucking W. He has W line, but that's not how you use Mordekai's W, bro. That is not how you use Mordekai's W. Okay. So right now, so I have TP advantage, he doesn't. He's playing for the solo kill, I'm, I can play for the long game. On this wave, I'm just gonna get a good back instead and not really teleport. Don't need to, right? Go ahead. I've been playing Elder Ring, you bastard. Oh yeah, I saw you playing Elder Ring yesterday. That's right, I remember now. Hope you're having a good time, dude. What inspired you to play Elden Ring? Was it all the cosplays that the cute girls do? Not gonna lie, I kinda wanna play Elden Ring because I've been seeing a lot of cute girls cosplaying from as Elden Ring characters. Maybe I should play I should it. Because Elden Ring is a hard game, man. Shame. It's okay. Why the fuck is Poppy so much like, I guess there's more health, just literally full health items. This uh, mod's actually a little bit fucked now. I'm gonna go home. It's 
pretty sweet. Life is but a brief disinterment. No way! You are a dirty dog, Wukong. Oh, Wukong, you are a dirty, dirty dog. You are dirty. Oh, you monkey. You are a fucking monkey. First time Fire Giant. Is Fire Giant really hard? I don't know how hard the bosses are, but I know that Elden Ring is a really fucked up game. There's a lot of bullshit in it, apparently. It's like the Dark Souls games in general are hard, you know? Like, me personally, I, I know for a fact that if I was to play Elden Ring, because, like, I'm the type of guy that I, I, I like play balls to the fucking wall and I die constantly in games. Like, I, I'm the kind of guy that walks into, like, string traps and shit, like, tripwire traps. Have you fought the final boss yet? Isn't, like, the final, what is it, Millennia or some shit? Isn't she really hard? Tell me when you beat her, zero deaths. That's when I'll be impressed. Actually, I don't know if I'll be impressed because I don't know how hard she is, but. Millennia is optional. Where the fuck is the enemy mod? Did you see? Did he just take a shit or something? Is he in Brazil? He's bot lane. Is he actually bot lane? I assume it's because he's tilted. Because it's like I don't know. Well, I'm not gonna complain though. A win's a win. Hey, win's a win. Win's a win. Too dirt you return. No Hydra. Um, I'm trying out Eclipse. So I'm going in Genie's Hunter and I'm trying out Eclipse, Sun of Sky with Profane Hydra. Mm, my last order didn't go off there. I'm a bit disappointed. It's okay, my ghouls. My little slaveys. I don't like this Wukong. He's talking too much to me. I hate people who talk. I think, this can, I think these ghouls can solo it. Oh. Ah. It is the end. Maybe. Slug, I want you to squish me with your thighs. The dead don't hear you. you know what? Like, everybody kind of memes. Tack, dog, I want to fuck you. I want to suck your dick. But, like, you saying you want me to squish your thigh, like, I'll, like, honestly, that's like a compliment I will take. Because I've been doing leg day, you know, I don't skip leg day. In fact, I do leg day so fucking hard that I break my fucking legs. My legs have been broken for the past five days. They've been injured so badly that I can't even... That I had to limp. So you know what? Thanks, man. Thank you. I will squish your thighs. And they have a big dumper. It could get bigger. The thing about the gym is that you can always get bigger and you can always get sexier. And you can always be hotter. And that's what I enjoy about it. And also seeing big buff men. Your thighs probably causing earthquakes when you walk. They really do. My th I used to be. I remember when I went when I back in the day, back in high school, I used to go swimming a lot, and I would be insecure about my thighs because they were so fucking th fat, so fucking thick, and I was like, dude, am I fat? And I wasn't fat. It's just I had really thick thighs naturally. And now, as time has gone on. Every single time I see like a hot woman's thick thighs, my head gets so woozy and so clouded with fantasies and ideals that I fucking pass out on my bed. Anyways, hope you guys are having a great day. No, no. I think there's a bit of a delay from YouTube chat to my um, streaming software thing. The new Rift model, I love the new Rift Herald and Baron. I think the Rift Herald and Baron is super good, you know. Opinion on Comet Yarrick, pretty good. Um, but on, on, to be completely honest with you, every time I don't go Conqueror, it pisses me off because I miss so many kill opportunities because I'm so used to Conqueror. Die. A femboy made me eat his ass yesterday. Can I recruit that femboy you're talking about? I need him for a certain activity. I need, I need, I need his help with something. Ooh, that's pretty nasty though. This is, I think this is a very solid Yarrick build in terms of like, if you want damage, but you don't want to go Bruiser. I mean, it's not bad. I like it. I talk a lot of shit about people on stream, about my teammates. 
But, like, in all honesty, in League, if you want to win, you shouldn't do it. Because, like, it's just going to, like, flank. You're going to piss them off. You're going to get distracted. And you're not going to have a higher chance of winning, right? Wait, this is super playable. If I Q this... Oh, oh my god, that's the enemy Leona. <laughs> I thought that was my team, I didn't realize. Oh shit. I mean, I don't think I could have played anyways. That was pretty smart. Um, Probably all on the Herald, I mean the Maiden. If you go to Shoujin and Navori, full crit, you get 28% extra ghoul damage. If you go to Lethal if you go to Lethali items, you do more damage than your entire fucking Navori build. Anyways, I'm kind of joking, but at the same time, you would. You, you would, you would. Like and subscribe or I will die. I'm toxic in League. I used to call everyone uh, really bad words. But now, um, I realize that if I want to win, right, it's just no point in flaming. Of course, sometimes I still get like way too annoyed and I'll flame back if someone flames me. Or like if I'm playing a friend or some shit and someone talks shit to my friends, then I'll fucking flame them. But even still, like I'm kind of hesitant to do it, you know. Like you don't have to be a fucking saint, you just have to be not an asshole. That's the most you're asking for, you know. I'm not gonna lie, it's weird not playing without like it's weird playing without profane hydra and like a felony setup because I'm so used to playing for that kind of style. It's good though. It's good. Holy shit, that Q damage! What's this guy doing? Have I Q him? Oh my god! That is some nasty fucking damage. I don't know if I can steer this actually. <sighs> oh, thank god I could steer it. That's a really hard steer. I know if I say that. Come on, come on, hit it in time. Wait. Can I just do this? Yo, Sun of Sky is kind of lit. It's already up again because of Ingenious Hunter. Oh, he's in Brazil now. Wait, everyone on enemy team is up. Yeah, I'll put a W there. Good luck, Lukong. Yeah. If Varus isn't... Oh, wait, she left too far. They could've killed me. Okay, that's fine. Oh, thank fuck. Thank fuck. Wait, I'm kind of doing pretty damn good in the this game. Shit. Yeah, so this guy is pretty beast this game. It's already done 1.6k healing. And I bought it like, what, second item? I could technically go Starax. Ah. What would be a... I'm gonna go grudge because I need armor at any point, but what, what would be a good setup with like a... Edge of Night, I'll go Edge of Night for a shorter cooldown than that. Trinity, oh Trinity, I fucking hate Trinity though. Should I go Trinity? It's like my least favorite item in the game right now in League, but... We gotta fit the theme, sure, why not? Cleaver, if I'm going uh, grudge, I can't go Cleaver. And grudge is just way too good of an item. It gives you so much uh, armor pen. Shoujin is definitely the consistent play. Lol. Lol, I played that really bad as well. But that guy missed her. She, she was going for a really audacious... Seriously. It is necessary. She was going for a really audacious um, ult there. I knew that that nah, shit's not gonna hit. What are you, crazy? I don't think you need to go like a full of Valley kind of setup. If you're going like... um. You could go. You could definitely go bruisery version of this setup. You could go Eclipse, Sundered Sky, and Titanic, and Starax. Oh, and that'd be so much value from Jimmy Hunter. I just like Lethality because Lethality is fun. Oh, the FF. <laughs> GGs. GGs. That was. I kind of fuck with that. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think. I don't know if Ingenious Hunter is necessary. But I kind of like that Sundered Sky damage. Like it fucking hit hard, dude.